Hey everyone, it's Mr. G, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can pick a random position from, let's say, three starting positions. So this question comes from John from 11 months ago. So John, I'm really sorry that I'm just getting to it now, but I thought it'd be a good video to make and it wouldn't take too long for me to answer it. So basically what we wanna do is we wanna pick one of three random numbers and each random number is gonna represent a different position on the stage. So the first thing we wanna do is pick a random number. So we wanna pick a random number from one to three. And what we can do is we can say, if the random number that's picked is one, we'll go to position one. So we can create a conditional, and because we're gonna have three choices, I'm gonna actually use an if then else, and I'm gonna use another if then else inside of that. So what we'll do is, if the random number that's picked is one, we'll go into the first conditional. So let me grab the operator to check the number that was picked. So we'll use the equality operator. And if the random number that's picked is one, we are going to go to position one. So I'm gonna go to a specific position and I didn't define it yet. Um, if the position is two, or if the random number is two, we are gonna to go to position two. So again, I'm gonna to go to the motion palette and pick a position here. And if it wasn't one or two, and we're picking from one to three, then obviously the last uh, else clause is going to be if the random number is three. So actually, I don't need an operator, I just need to go to the third position. Okay, so now you might be wondering, well, why did you leave these, uh, these spaces blank? And that's because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a variable, and this is going to be my random number from one to three. I'm gonna name it that. And I'm gonna set that variable equal to a random number between one and three. Uh, but let's not call it my variable. Let's use this random number variable that we just created. And now what we can do is we can use this variable in the place where we want to pick a random number from one to three. And so now we can pick the random number. If it's one, we'll go to a specific position. Why don't we go to the top over here? So we'll go to zero comma 116. If it's two, we'll go to the bottom left, which is going to be, we'll put negative 185 and negative 120 as the y. Otherwise, we're gonna go to, uh, let's go to well, positive 185, um, negative 120. So this, this should work. This is three different positions based on this random, random number that's being picked. Um, I think that should be it. We can test it out by clicking it a few times and making sure that it ends up in all three places randomly. And the last thing is that John mentioned that he wants it to happen when the green flag is clicked. So we can do a couple of things. We can first just connect when green flag is clicked and set it equal to that. But this is kind of like a lot of code for someone to read um, and then to add different things to it. So what we can do is we can abstract this and create a function or create our own block that will do all of this calculation and kind of hide it from someone else who's reading the code. So we're gonna go over to my blocks, we're gonna make a block, and we're gonna name this uh, random position one through three. I'm gonna hit okay. And the definition of this block, let me bring this down a little bit. We're gonna define this block by bringing everything we just created in there. Okay, so now, this uh, random position 1-3 block, that's what we're gonna connect to the green flag, uh, when green flag is clicked. And so this block down here, all that code, can kind of be hidden away because we don't need to see it. We, all we have to do now is just click on the green flag and the sprite will go to a random position. Um, let me see if there's anything else I wanna mention. I kinda wanna hide this, uh, the, the current variable. Um, so I'm going to go over here to the variables palette and uncheck the box. And now our sprite, when we click on the uh, green flag, it's going to go to one of three random positions. And so, John, hopefully that helps. Hopefully it's not too late, even though it's 11 months later. 
and I hope that was helpful.